So this week we are playing Titan Quest. It's a game from 2005. And it's uh, most simply described as Diablo clone. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's set a, an interesting setting for this. And not instead of a gothic or a fantasy setting, this is in, in the lens of Greek mythology. And it is a colorful romp with hacking, slashing, and archery. What did you guys know about this game before we played today? Uh, all I knew was that Filter put it up on the Discord, and that's what we ended up going with. Uh, it's a fun way to dive into something, I think. Didn't know anything about it at all. Yeah, I... Um... I knew about it I for a long time, I guess. I don't know that I knew about it when it came out, but uh, I'd seen it a bunch. It's been on sale a lot for really cheap, uh, but I always kind of pass it up because it was, you know, I, it's a commitment to play a game like this, and um, I have other ones like it. But honestly, I thought it was, for some reason, set in Egypt, but it's set in Greece. Uh, Titans are not <laughs> Egyptian. <laughs> but I don't know what... That's like the memory of the game that I had. But I'm very like pleasantly surprised with the environment and the, the monsters. They seem to be drawing from here. So, And we're playing Maybe. it th today because it was free. I guess we should note on Steam, um, there's some mm. kind of THQ Nordic anniversary sale so they gave it away uh very low commitment there then but uh, i've seen it for like five bucks and it's it seems like a steal for five but i don't want to skip ahead <laughs> yeah uh it's it definitely is a steal at a five dollar price range and for free without a question of a doubt uh maybe the some of those stills that you saw with the yellow town Maybe that gave you Egypt. A, yeah, some sand. I saw sand. Oh, it's That'd Egypt. Sand. Everything is fairly nondescript, I would say. And there's a little bit of crossover, I guess, between Greek stuff and Egypt stuff as far as... You know what? There might time. be an expansion that's in Egypt or something. Honestly. There's one that's in Atlantis. Uh, okay. That's, <laughs> be halfway, that's halfway from Greece to... <laughs> Egypt is Atlantis, right? Yeah, we're getting there. It's all Greek to me. <laughs> right? Uh, I have to admit, I I have played this game before. I had a lazy afternoon where I kind of sat down and played this game for several hours and really thought that it would be worth bringing to the renters. And I was pleasantly surprised, something I had not tried, was the netplay online multiplayer, and it worked very well for us. Very well. It did, yeah. Um, and it's kind of refreshing. I think a lot of these games nowadays go free to play um or cost a lot and end up being grim dark like gothic stuff and this one's bright and it's not cheerful i guess i wouldn't say but it's it's nice to look at and there's not all these microtransactions and season pass things popping up in your face it's very much a game from 2006 uh that's riffing on diablo like call it a clone derivatively but um or derisively i don't know saying there but uh i think it does some neat stuff uh to riff on diablo and it's got some nice upgrades the the main thing i saw that was different was the two like, elemental masteries you could go down and um that seems like it gives you a lot of creativity and how you build out your character i'm sure there's lots of faqs about how to do the best you know min maxed summoner ice queen that you can do but uh that's not how i was approaching it today yeah your pure sparta warrior defense guy i, I will say we pl we played enough to fight probably a boss or two but i imagine i got a feeling there's like some big impressive bosses they're like what are the standards in greek mythology like a hydra Oh yeah. Yeah, there's right. Uh, there's Medusa. Medusa would be cool. Um, there's some giants some like the Cyclops. Uh, the Cyclops. Yeah. Great one. Maybe. I was thinking about the Hercules Disney movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's... that's what we're all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would need like a little Bobcat Goldthwait imp to <laughs> pull us around. I would. I would love to get a Pegasus to ride. Yeah. yeah. Or just to see. This would be quality of life uh, improvements. 
fight some gods <laughs> or summon gods. Get some gods like mm, fighting mm, mm, mm. alongside you. That'd be really cool. Yeah, or gods' blessings. I mean, they did have. There's a little bit of like. There's like a rune system, I guess, to be the best way to the best analog. You have it was no like Zeus's lightning, but it just gave my club lightning. Yeah. But that's lore. <laughs> yeah, it's lore. It's flavor. I mean, it's it's yeah. very uh, spicy. Greek. Uh, hero we're eating here i guess but it's it's also bland in places too um but i think yeah. they mostly sell the setting yeah i mean i think if you're into this kind of game you know how to get the most out of it and yeah. you know where to look for you know flavor if, and it's there when you want to find it for me i'd click right through it and i go i want to go click the bad guys and watch them pop out loot um which is a yeah. That's one way to play the games, and the other would be like a slower, more deliberate way. Just yeah. soaking it all in. Uh, we also did play on fast uh, in our in our um, yeah. server, Very which I guess is an charming. option. There's like a normal fast. There might even be a, an ultra fast. It means all the gameplay was sped up. Everybody ran really fast. It, I honestly liked it. Um, quite, I was into it. <laughs> yeah, it's I quite liked it. And there's no, there was no stamina for running, which is like one of my gripes strange. with Diablo 2 no, and I think 1. No, they have a stamina bar that runs out all the time. It's just annoying. One big thing it had over Champions of Norath, which we played together, was that I didn't have to find arrows for my main weapon, the bow. Oh my gosh, yeah. Periodically. You gotta track how many arrows you have in that game, and in this I'm game, enough, not the case. I I that. What's the point of that? I'm gonna shoot a million <laughs> arrows by the time this thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, how many bad guys are there? I'm gonna shoot 10, 15 arrows into each of them. <laughs> yeah, the, at least. the fast mode was cool. I really liked it as well. It was good for this rental because, in my experience, it took me about three times the amount of physical time to get as far as we did in two hour play session. And that's pretty impressive. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I found that to, it, it sort of cut out the, it was it was a self-aware addition to this kind of game. I feel like is missing in a lot of them, which is that they can move really slowly and they felt, you know what? Why not just give them the option to speed it up a little bit? I found that to be really nice. Yeah, why not? And, and it made it um, less punishing when we died and had to run back to join our fellow questers um, because you run faster, of course. The Also, um, with that in mind, the teleport system is not tied to town portal scrolls. You can only have one portal, and when you put a new one down, it replaces the last one, which is very forgiving. And you can, like summon a portal to go to somebody else's portal, which is different. Um, otherwise, you would have to go to the portal to town, to the waypoint, so to go to somebody else's portal. Maybe that's now. hard to explain, but um, they <laughs> took away the resource <laughs> aspect of that, and I think that works really well for multiplayer. Um, it makes it so everybody can like kind of stay in the same place. What was that? Yeah. I said it just smooths out something that doesn't need to be rough. Which I like. Portaling to sell items. I hate these games are full of items. And if you are trying to squeeze every bit of, you know, juice out of it, you're going to sell every item that you can hold. So going back and forth, every game I play like this, I spend tons of time running to town. Drop a portal, sell stuff, you're back in the action. Full of action, this game. Yeah, it was great. Especially since running back and forth between town through areas that you've already cleared, usually not that exciting uh, anymore once you've cleared it. It's not like there's anything fun to do in the meantime. So just kind of being able to get right to it and then right back to it. Very nice. I'll hold your things for you. Uh, so did you guys think that this... So I think we all know what this game is trying to do. Is it successful in its attempt? I would say yes. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think it's it's 
I would say it's for fans of the genre, but like if this was your first action RPG These in the Diablo mold, this seems like a fine one to start with, really. It's very forgiving. It's got a lot of niceties uh, that the older games don't have. Um, it doesn't try to predatorily extract money out of you. Um, <laughs> it's what you buy, it's what you get. Uh, and I think it, it, it sells it. Um, the only thing that like feels weak to me is the music, I guess. It just, and maybe it's fine. It just kind of wasn't there uh, the way it is in some other action RPGs. I know it's background music, but it's just, I don't remember anything about it. And I was listening to it you know, pretty loudly, um, but it is really well voice acted, I, or it is very thoroughly voice acted, I guess I would say. I don't know about well. Uh, I didn't listen to all the lines because I'm not here for that, but it's nice when there's voice acting uh, compared to when it's just text boxes. It just kind of sells the world a little bit more. So I think it's successful. I agree. I, th I think it's very successful in being one of these kinds of games and not really missing on any of those fronts. There's various classes that can work well in a group. I was kind of tanking while uh, Filter was healing and Dime was playing more distance uh, support stuff. That's what you want in getting a couple of people together to play this sort of game. But the only thing I would say is, you know, some of these games kind of live or die on how well they scale over time. Once you get yes. more leveled up, does it just become just a click fest or does it actually stay complex and, and kind of varied in ways that you want to switch up your gameplay style? Yeah, I would say that the scaling is where I maybe found it lacking a bit, but maybe that's just a, a sign of the genre. Um, I find that it doesn't feel much like progress is being made. It feels evident that you have to make some progress when you go into certain areas and you're like, oh, these enemies are stronger than the other ones. But in the end, I find that leveling up is only as necessary to just keep everything the same gameplay wise throughout. It never really makes you feel really powerful, or at least it never made me feel really powerful. Maybe that's because I was a hunter and hunters aren't all that powerful to begin with. But it, I feel like I hit the enemy the same number of times to kill it whenever I'm adequately leveled to be playing against it. And for me, that sort of thing almost makes it feel as though leveling could just be removed from the equation. You, you just hit things and then they die. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm getting my point across, but yeah, that, that's a thing I found to be lacking as, as far as how much fun I was having with Spencer. Yeah, it did. It did seem like they could have had an option to like automate some of that stuff, where yeah. and I think it was really just opening up as we stopped our session, honestly, because we we got our second affinity thing and there were like more spells and abilities to kind of Definitely. cobble together where you could be more deliberate and probably get stronger. Um, so it's that's one thing where it's like you'd have to play it more to say. Um, with good confidence, like how the I think the game, game definitely deserves a deeper dive uh, for that sort of thing to really come to light. Yeah, yeah. To know if it worked, that's I, I wouldn't even put it as a point of criticism. I just hope that it stays uh, dynamic. I liked that I got to open a second skill path at the end of our session, and I started to think, oh, well, this how will I build a hybrid of these two? And you know, that's that's exciting. And if that can stay at hour 20 or 15 or whatever, that's, then they've made a good game. <laughs> uh, noteworthy or distinctive? I mean, the game is distinctive in its own right. It's... Yeah, I mean, in a crowded genre, it stands out um, with, with the setting. And I think the two, like the way it approaches doing different classes built built out um it was interesting that like your your base character is just a generic character uh where like some other games you pick a more distinctive looking character and that kind of determines what abilities and um what your base stats are going to be like uh, so this one is kind of build your own hero but i would have liked i would have liked some more character customization, of course, I always do. Uh, <laughs> but 
but that's all right. It's from 2006. I can't you really. You pick red. You pick blue. Yeah. I mean, come on. What more could you want? <laughs> I want really thick eyebrows. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. It connotes power. Four. Yeah. I do feel that the setting was really a distinctive quality to it. It made it much more, to me, like an ancient Greek setting is much more pleasant to me than a gothic, like kind of, I don't know, that that can be, I think at the time when Diablo came out especially, uh, maybe that was sort of a transgressive decision, like look at this bat ass dark world that we're putting you in. But after, you know, dungeon after dungeon, you know, this, it was kind of nice to be in field after field, um, uh, you know, brighter environments. It did get to nighttime sometimes, and then it really felt like night. You couldn't really see stuff. Uh, that added an, an element of danger. But I also really liked that you could just sort of pop in and out of caves. There was no loading screen involved with that. Maybe that's sort of the thing with the recent... Uh, I don't know, it was re-released in 2016, so maybe that was like a a new quality, but I thought that that was really great, not to have to worry you can't about carry anymore. Um, loading for a while just to get into a cave. Yeah, I would definitely it second that. It. it was just seamless. You don't even enter it. You just go. If that actually, it felt really good. Like we approached a big mausoleum and really nice. there's just, it's open. So we you just can see into it from the outside of it. Like it's, it's fantastic. I've never seen that before yeah. in like an isometric RPG. No, I actually can't think of others that do that either. Um, yeah, it, it's really unique and it was well executed. Like, I didn't feel like I couldn't see what I was doing or the game just smoothly put you into the cave. And it fit within the space of the world, which is another big thing is like a lot of those caves that you go into in other dungeon crawlers actually don't make any physical sense <laughs> with, with the space that you were in. Like it could be a really huge cave for a small map and you're just like, what? Those caves, those endless <laughs> caves and champions come to mind immediately. Yeah, like six <laughs> levels deep, of just in chasms. Like, well, How is this not collapsing? <laughs> in <those caves. laughs> There's no caves under swamps. It doesn't no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's that's great it, that. it all it looked good. I like the enemy types too. I hope there are more. Yeah, uh, it was fun. But we saw five or six or so, and they all looked pretty good. Mm -hmm. And as a hunter, you could like I noticed you can get certain skills that are good against certain enemy types. Like mm -hmm. here's a thing. I didn't really know how it worked. I guess maybe that could have been smoothed out. But I got a couple abilities that were like, use this and you'll do some extra stuff against beasts or beast man types or whatever. Uh, I, th I thought that was kind of a fun like it's a way to direct your your build. Yeah, I, I thought this game was really good, but you know, ultimately, Filter, would you recommend people check this game out? Yeah, for, for me, uh, this is a buy. Like, I like those kind of games. If you like clicking things and watching loot pop out um, and want to do it in Greece, this is the, the place to do it. It's often very cheap, so it's worth the five or three dollars. Uh, I gave it a four overall. Um, it did, not for really any reasons like I'm docking po it points, but just like it's maybe not as smooth or like impressive in aesthetic ways as like Diablo 2. That's got great music. Um, I think the music's really like what didn't sell it for me. Um, but I, w I want to play it some more um, and really see where it goes because I don't, you know. I don't really know what these games until I've built out my character a good bit more. You know, since what about you? Would you spend another six hours locked in your room playing this? I gotta say, absolutely. This game's a buy for me. It already was a buy, uh, but my buy has been reinforced after having some fun with my buds. Uh, I, I give this game about a 4.5, and the half point falls off really just in the same respect where it's like, I, you know, it's a game from 2005. It's there's, it's not the most shiny thing in the whole world, but once in a blue moon, I want to sit down and play a game like this until my if eyes are okay. bloodshot. And this is absolutely one that I'll grab off the shelf to do again. Uh, 
And when I, I mean, normally I turn all, almost all the sound off and just listen to music and just click. <laughs> it, it and this is perfect for that sort of uh, foray. But time on time, what did you think about it? Uh, I gave it a rent, um, but not not as a disparaging remark necessarily. Um, just as a you know, try it out. It's it is it it is a an aged type of game, and you know, see if it's for you. Uh, if not, then you know you you tried it out and gave it a fair shake. And if you do, and you like it, you know, it's it's I mean, it's free right now. It's five bucks later, it's not going to break the bank to buy the thing. Um, yeah, I like I say, I think that it would have um, definitely benefited from a little bit more of a deep dive. I think that there was a lot of things just for the because of the setting that I sort of glossed over that maybe I would have paid more attention to. That um, you have no more room. I don't. Know, there's a lot of depth there uh, that we've only scratched the surface of tonight. And yeah, I think it's definitely worth a try. I gave it, it was in between um, pretty happy Garfield and really happy Garfield. <laughs> what a game titan quest from thq nordic check it out definitely check it out check it out